Well, hey guys, buckle up because in this video, we're gonna be going over five body sunscreens. You might wanna consider this summer because I have been trying them out and I can tell you how they perform, what they look like, how they feel, what I think about them, what I think they're good for and not good for. Y'all know I've been recently, well, maybe you don't know, but I have recently really been enjoying swimming in the pool. It is hot as can be right now. I think it was like 100 degrees yesterday. Plus the humidity, you can go outside with a bar of soap and work up a lather, no problem. Uh, so I rather enjoy taking a dip in the pool and doing some laps and I have been using a lot of body sunscreens well five have been in rotation that I have been actively testing out for you guys so we're gonna cover them some of them you've heard about from me before but I think it's nice to revisit them and compare them to some of these newer ones I have two mineral sunscreens and three chemical sunscreens mineral sunscreens leave a cat a white cast they have zinc oxide and or titanium dioxide Chemical sunscreens typically don't leave a white cast. They have chemical filters in them like avabenzone, octinoxate, octocrylin. As far as choosing mineral versus chemical, it's a matter of personal preference. Wearing sunscreen is the main thing that you should focus on and choose one that you like enough to wear and reapply. Uh, some people find that chemical sunscreens sting on the face, less likely of an issue on the body. Um, but for those of you who do find that chemical sunscreens sting, you may find that you get along with mineral sunscreens better. Not always the case, but anyways. Moving into it, the first one I have been loving uh, is by Eucerin. I reviewed for you guys Eucerin's new facial sunscreens a while ago, but I've recently been trying out their new advanced hydration plus hyaluronic acid and humectants, SPF 50. I really like this. This is a very moisturizing yet not greasy chemical sunscreen. There is not a, there's no cast to this and it is water resistant. So this has been great in the pool. I like it because it's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. And I find that my skin, you know, if you go in the pool, um, as a side note, the chlorine really can do a number on your skin, dry it out and what have you. A very moisturizing sunscreen such as this is a great choice because not only are you protecting your skin from those UV rays, which yes, can definitely burn you while you are in the pool. Not only that, but it kind of helps protect you against the chlorine water a bit too, and just keeping your skin a bit more moisturized, hydrated. This one also has some antioxidants in it from licorice root. Eucerin often includes licorice root derived uh, ingredients in their products. Licorice root is anti-inflammatory. It can help reduce redness, reduce irritation. This also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate. That is a form of vitamin C that actually has been shown to help be helpful for oiliness and acne prone skin. So if you are breakout prone, that may or may not help you out. The thing that's gonna help you out the most though is the, the sunscreen, the UV protection. This offers broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection, and it's water resistant, 80 minutes, which for me is very important. Obviously for the pool, you, you do wanna have a water resistant sunscreen on while you are in, in the water. Uh, it just kind of stays on a little bit better. That being said, when you get out of the water, you do need to reapply. This reapplies very comfortably. Now, it is a bit on the occlusive side, which I like for being in the pool. Again, protects the skin from the irritation from chlorine water. But I will say it is very humid here. So if you live in a hot, humid climate, you may find this a touch bit oppressive. Um, and I've got, I've got a recommendation for you in that case, but if you, for example, put this on, it's really hot out, you go out for a run, you're somebody who likes to work out outside, you may find that this is not quite as comfortable. So I think it performs really well as a body sunscreen and a face sunscreen, by the way, for being in the pool, being in the ocean. It's not sticky, it's not greasy. Uh, and it forms a nice barrier. But that barrier may slow the evaporation of sweat ever so slightly, making you get overheated when you're working out outside. But price-wise, this bad boy goes for $13.99 for five ounces, which is a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna move on to another sunscreen that I've talked about in many videos, but if you're new here, it is a long-standing favorite of mine. It's the La Roche-Posay um, Anthelos Melton Sunscreen Milk. I have the SPF 60 here, but they also make an SPF 100. 
started. And the higher the SPF, it's actually somewhat better at protecting you against a burn simply because of the way people apply sunscreen. People tend to under apply sunscreen and so higher SPF actually has been shown to be a little bit better at protecting you from a burn. Um, so anyways, I have the 60, but I've used the 100. I honestly don't notice much of a difference. This is a chemical sunscreen, there's not a cast. But in contrast to the Eucerin one I just shared with you guys, this one has low molecular weight alcohol in it. It's alcohol denaturant. And people are very, you know, nervous about that as an ingredient. I've got videos debunking the fears around it. Fine, it can be a little drying. But in sunscreens, it's great because it makes for a formula that is more uh, quick dry, fast absorbing, non-greasy, and allows for evaporation of sweat. So this is gonna be the one I would strongly recommend if you live in a humid climate, like I do, or if you enjoy working out outside, or you do yard work outside, it's very hot, sweaty, you're working up a sweat, this is a great one. It's comfortable to wear on the face. Um, like the Eucerin one, both are, both uh, are marketed as for face and body. Uh, so it's comfortable to wear on the face. I've never had any issues with this running into my eyes, causing burning or stinging in the eyes or irritation to the skin of the face. It's very comfortable. It is a good option too if you've got oily, acne prone skin because it is more of a fast absorbing, non-greasy formula. Water resistant, 80 minutes, just like the Eucerin one. I love this one. So um, that one is a long-standing favorite for me. It is more expensive. It's $21.99 for three ounces. But because of the humidity here, it's definitely worth it. This is a repurchase for me and I love it. Okay, this is one that I mentioned in my summer skincare video because I love it so much. It's the Bondi Sands SPF 50 uh, water resistant, 80 minutes, fragrance-free sunscreen lotion. Now this one likewise is a chemical sunscreen. It is comfortable to wear on the face in my experience. It's not marketed for the face. They have a separate one that's marketed for the face. I find they are exactly the same in terms of how they look, feel, the ingredients. So I just go with the body one and put it on my face. It's a little bit less expensive that way. Anyways, this is a moisturizing without being greasy. It is not as heavy as the Eucerin Advanced Hydration Sunscreen. It's a little bit more lightweight and therefore more comfortable to wear. And it actually makes the skin kind of have a nice glow that can be difficult actually to achieve with a sunscreen. Sometimes sunscreens make your skin look a little dull, ashen. Uh, this actually looks like you put on a really nice body lotion or body moisturizer. This is my favorite body sunscreen for everyday use during the summer, like for running errands, when I'm wearing shorts, short sleeves. I obviously want to have on sunscreen, but I don't want anything greasy or sticky. It's great for days where I'm out running errands. It's super sunny here. Walking through a parking lot, you've got UV rays scattering off of shiny trucks and hubcaps. And so I like wearing this one as an everyday body moisturizer uh, during the summer especially. It's not greasy. Uh, I don't feel like I get overheated with it. And it makes the skin look nice. It looks like you put on moisturizer, not like you put on sunscreen. And for that, I really like it as an everyday product. It's also good if you're gonna be by the pool. It's not as good though for sweaty conditions as the La Roche-Posay one. Uh, it does feel a touch bit oppressive in comparison to the La Roche-Posay Melton Sunscreen Milk, but is a little bit more lightweight in consistency in comparison to the Eucerin Advanced Hydration. So think of the Eucerin Advanced Hydration like warding off dry skin in the, from the pool water, uh, very moisturizing. Think of the Melton Sunscreen Milk as like your sweaty, oily conditions uh, where you want a fast dry, non-greasy formula. And think of the Bondi Sands as like your everyday, you want the moisturizing, but you're not really looking to be heavy duty. You've got a lot of humidity. You just want something that's comfortable to wear and gives good protection, that's gonna be the Bondi Sands. All right, so those are the three chemical sunscreens, but let's move on to mineral sunscreens. Um, Josie Moran, I get PR from, because I do really like many of Josie Moran's products, and they sent me this Ultra Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen. 
$42 for five ounces. It's a mineral sunscreen, so that's gonna come with a cast, which this definitely does have a cast. It's got uh, the active sunscreen ingredients are zinc oxide plus titanium dioxide. This is not water resistant. So this is not gonna be a good choice if you're gonna be doing any kind of sport outside. It's not good if you're gonna be in sweaty, humid conditions. It's not good if you're gonna be doing sport or you know yard work out, outside because it's not water resistant. So you want that little bit of extra reassurance. Is this something that you might enjoy using though as an everyday body moisturizer with sunscreen? I don't think so. As a brand, I turn to Josie Moran products because I find that the moisturizers, the body butters, they are so nice, frankly, for lack of a better word. They're very moisturizing. You guys know I love that Pro Retinol one. Um, they're really nice products. Uh, they're nice to, make, to, to give as gifts. So I was hoping that this would bring that to the table with sunscreen on board, and it simply does not. Josie Moran has some facial sunscreens that are very nice, and I can see people wanting to pay the price for those, but this is not it. I do not know why you would spend the money on this product when you could buy the Eucerin Sensitive Mineral zinc oxide this is a mineral sunscreen again like the josie moran one this one doesn't have titanium dioxide it's zinc oxide only it does leave a cast that's to be expected this one is water resistant so you could use this if you're going to be doing sport or being by the pool or in the pool in the water it stays in place really well and the cast is comparable to what you're getting with the Josie Moran one. It's moisturizing, it's not greasy. Unlike the Josie Moran one, it doesn't go on streaky or anything. I have been really happy with this. You can comfortably wear it on the face, the body. Now, putting it on the face, it is you know, gonna leave that white cast. But if you're looking for a mineral face and body sunscreen, don't sleep on this. The Eucerin Sun Sensitive is only $13.99 for four ounces. And for that price, you're getting a water resistant formula that you can wear on the face and body. Not sticky. This honestly is one of the best body mineral sunscreens I've come across for quite some time. I personally don't like wearing mineral sunscreens on the body. This one I can comfortably wear, no problem. All right, you guys, those are the sunscreens I've been trying out for you all by the pool, in the pool, running around Houston where it is humid as can be. Um, as far as how I think they stack up, again, this is gonna be one that's great for the pool for reducing dryness and irritation from chlorine. It's also good if you have dry skin, you want a, a more richly hydrating, moisturizing sunscreen without hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, whereas the La Roche-Posay Melton Sunscreen Milk, this is a go-to for super humid, sweaty conditions for working out outside or doing yard work. Also would be a great choice in and around the water. And then for me personally, I love and adore Bondi Sands as an everyday body moisturizer for getting a nice, like glowy skin moisturized look, like I've got a nice lotion on, but with good sunscreen. I would not spend the money on the SPF 45 Josie Moran Whip Body Butter. This is a pass, this is a pass. But if you like mineral sunscreens, try this one out. I have been super impressed with the Eucerin Sensitive Mineral, uh, how it performs, how it, you know, it does have a cast, but you're coming to expect that if you choose a mineral sunscreen. Stop paying big bucks for things that exist and are good already in the drugstore, including this. Uh, this, is, this is a good one. Uh, don't, don't go to Sephora and buy a body mineral sunscreen when you could get this. I, I just don't see the pull there. Unless it's tinted or offers some you know, advantage, try this one out. I mean, it, it is good. Honestly, I want to try, um, I have it, but I haven't tried it yet. They have a baby mineral sunscreen. I would be willing to bet that that one is probably very similar to this, uh, Eucerin's baby mineral sunscreen. Um, I need to try them out and compare the two, see how, see how the baby one performs. With the exception of the Josie Moran one, which I already told you not to waste your money on, <laughs> the rest of these are water resistant. And with that, people often have trouble removing them when they take a shower. You'll notice if you get in the shower, the water kind of beads up. Sometimes just your 
soap and water. It's effective, but you kind of find that you have to rub and whatnot. So what I do, um, this is a new bottle. I haven't opened it yet, but I brought it out here to share with you guys. What I do is I just take a few drops of this Neutrogena body oil. I get the fragrance free version. They also have one that has scent in it if you like that. Uh, and actually Kroger makes a version of the scented one as well. It's a little less expensive, so you may try that one. But what I do is I just take some of this and rub it to like my arms and legs, wherever, wherever I have body sunscreen before I get in the shower. And it just helps take that film of water resistant sunscreen off more efficiently. I don't end up having to, you know, use a washcloth or anything. It just kind of helps it glide off. Um, I've definitely been in a position before where I've worn water resistant sunscreen on my legs and I've not done this and I've thought that, you know, I've gotten it off and then I like get out of the shower and maybe scratch my leg and there's sunscreen residue still under my fingernails. I've definitely had that issue and I know a lot of you guys have as well. Try the body oil pre-shower. You don't need a lot. Uh, so and be careful that you don't use so much that it's slippery and you fall in the shower, but you really don't need very much. Just a few drops, smear it on. It just kind of helps break up that film of water resistant sunscreen. Uh, friendly reminder, if you are gonna be enjoying the outdoors, make sure you reapply sunscreen every two hours while you are outside. And if you get in the water, make sure that you reapply when you get out. All of these are water resistant eight, up to 80 minutes, but pay attention if you don't choose these. Sometimes the water resistant ones are 40 minutes. So just be mindful of how much time you're actually in the water, like if you need to get out and reapply. Make sure you're doing that because it does come off. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can easily burn while you are in the water. That is actually where most people end up burning when they're on vacation is while they're physically in the water. And of course, sunscreen is not a shield of armor. Just because you have sunscreen on, it's not a license to sunbathe or stay out in the sun too long. Rely on other measures, seek out shade, especially during midday hours when UV rays from the sun are most intense. Uh, you know, have an umbrella, hats, sunglasses, and sun protective clothing is great. I know it can feel very oppressive and hot, my swimsuits, by the way, as an update, I've been loving. I will link those down below as well. They are UPF 50. What I've been liking a lot about them is they cover the chest and the back. Two of them actually cover the arms. But uh, anyways, the reason I like that is because I don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on my back or my chest uh, or my abdomen. <laughs> so I will link those down below as well. I've really been happy with all of them. Uh, one of them is by Cooley Bar. I actually have two Cooley Bar bathing suits that I really like. Uh, one of them is by Mott 50. One of them is by Body Glove. Um, I, I really been pleased with all of them. The quality has held up well so far. I've actually been going to the pool a lot, at least a couple of times a week, uh, especially on the weekends. So I've, you know, I've gotten a lot of wear and tear out of those already, and I've been very happy with the quality and how they've withstood washing and all that. So I will link those down below if you're looking for a high coverage bathing suit um, for, you know, cutting down on your sun exposure to the chest and the back and the arms for some of them. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. On the end slate, I'm going to put my recent sunscreen review of facial sunscreen, so check that one out. But if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.